The search for the source of mass has been a hot topic in science for a long time now. The understanding on how mass is generated in the universe could lead to all sorts of incredible developments technologically and uh, philosophically and theoretically. Huge amount of efforts have been placed in trying to isolate the mechanics in which mass uh, is generated and to be able to confirm these mechanics with experiments. According to what I have found, mass is actually the energy generated by the Planck vacuum fluctuation, by these electromagnetic little Planck oscillators in the structure of space-time itself as it spins and as it co-rotates in a structured way, in a collective way, creating an energy event that we identify in space as energy or mass and that becomes the base of our reality. We see an atom and we say, oh, here is something and here is energy or mass. Or we see a galaxy and we say, oh, here is something and here is mass energy. However, what I'm saying, what I've found is that actually the pattern is in the structure of the space itself. And what we observe is the result of that pattern. The profound significance of finding the source of mass is critical because it has an impact directly in us understanding the source of reality. Everything around us, energy, gravity, and so on. And by understanding this, we can now apply this understanding in laboratories, in experiment, and so on, and attempt to reproduce the natural behavior that the universe uses to produce mass energy and gravity, to uh, transform the way we do things on our planet. And most importantly, this findings show directly that mass energy, all of reality, emerges from these fluctuations of the vacuum, these little Planck oscillators fluctuating everywhere around us, and that that is the source of reality, the source of mass energy.